Greetings, how are you guys doing? It's been a little while since I've been on here, but it doesn't feel like it's been that long. Anyway, I'm a little, um, ugh, my hair's a mess. I'm a little, uh, less drugged than the last time I talked to you guys, and I'm sorry, there's a glare. I don't know if I can avoid it or not, so I'm really sorry. And there's somebody that's about to peek their head into <laughs> the camera. It is, uh... Let's see if he'll... Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. You probably can hear him. He's a, the loudest motored cat I've ever had. Or heard. Anyway, Jack's sitting here on the desk. He's the desk... Uh, he's the desk kitty. Ah, uh, there, there goes the, the tail and the butt. And you can't see me at all. Because, yeah, there's a cat. Okay, Jack. Let's sit down. Anyway... Uh, let's see. I haven't done any knitting, so there's no knitting to tell you about. Um, I've been, um, doing my PT. I had PT at home for a while, and then the doctor released me to drive, and so I go to PT in his office. Well, it's in his building next door, but it's owned by the same group of doctors that own the doctor's office. Um, anyway, so I've been doing that. I just started that. Let's see, he released me to drive. It'll be two weeks on Thursday. It was it was on the 4th of July week because then Friday everybody was off here and closed. And so I called Friday to get PT, but, you know, they were closed, so I had to wait till Monday. When I called on Monday last week, um, they didn't have any openings until Friday. And so I went last Friday... And then I scheduled for this week, which was supposed to be three times, but they didn't have any openings until tomorrow, Wednesday, and then nothing again until Friday. So this last week I had one, and then this week I'll have two, and then after that I think it's three times a week. But we scheduled out like four weeks out because they're so busy all the time. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't have very great range of motion, so there's a good possibility he's going to do manipulation which means that he puts me to sleep and bends my knee all the way and breaks the scar tissue. Um, I have mixed emotions about that, but I'm not going to sit and cry about it anymore because I did enough of that. Um, and now Sebastian wants me to pet him. Anyway, um, so yeah. Um, oh, what was I going to say? I don't even know. So, earlier this summer we had ants, and um, it got them under control, and now all of a sudden ants are back. And it's driving me crazy. I had to go, I had to run down to the dollar store today, and I got some ant traps while I was there, but I always thought of, think of Melissa when I run down to the town to go to the dollar store. Because in my town, that's the only thing there is besides a little grocery store and a couple pizza places, and a, let's see, there's a drugstore, and that's it. My hair is making me crazy. I need a haircut really bad. It's been since before my surgery. So anyway, um, let's see. I know those stuff I was going to tell you. I am still taking pain medication, but I'm not quite taking as much as I was um, when I made that last video out back. Um, and I'm allowed to drive, so... When I go to PT, I don't take pain medication because I don't want to drive while I'm under the influence of the pain medication because it can have, you know, it is a narcotic, you know, so, yeah. Um, what else? Oh, okay, I know what I can tell you about. Um, a couple of friends and I are, um, um starting a company. Well, actually, the one guy already has his company started, but I'm joining, and my friend and I are going to work with him to um, make this company a company that can serve people with disabilities, that we can bill their um, Medicaid waivers. And in order to do that, there's a list of, like, 20 policies I have to write in the next couple of weeks. And then I have to prove, like, uh, let's see, here's my paperwork. I have to 
have verification of age, I have to have my high school diploma, my bachelor's degree, my state ID, which is driver's license, social security card, a report from the Bureau of Criminal Investigations showing that I don't have a criminal record, uh, certification from the state that says that you know we have an agency, a letter from the IRS for our tax ID, uh, the bachelor's degree, proof of experience, my training proof, and and then all the policies of some, this other paperwork. And there's like probably, like I said, 20 of them, um, which I'm going to be working on the policies here in the next few weeks. Um, because we can't really move forward with becoming certified by the state without that stuff in place. But what it is, and this might sound funny to some folks, but um, it's a, a, a fitness facility. Um, my one friend is very into fitness, and the guy who already owns the company is a... a um, my friend that's into fitness is a personal trainer, and the guy that she introduced me to is a personal trainer and a, um, what do they call him, life coach or something? But anyway, he's some kind of a running coach and, you know, fitness coach. Anyway, so that's been his, his thing, and so he wanted to open it up to more people. Um, and it really sounds like an interesting thing to me and to be able to, I'm sorry, work with the people that I used to work with for 30 years and you know, work on getting healthier in the meantime, and, you know, in the process is kind of exciting to me. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I'm, I'm still a non-smoker. I have this little thing. It's a vapor. Um, I started out on 24 milligrams of nicotine in the liquid that you use in this. It's like a bottle like this. Uh, anyway, I started out with 24 milligrams of nicotine. I now am down to 0.5 milligrams of nicotine. And the next time I mix, some, mix, mix up some of that liquid, I won't put any nicotine in it at all. Um, so, yay, I'm off of that. It's been, well, it was a year on December 12th. So it's been a, more than a year and a half since I smoked. So that's pretty cool. And on top of that, doing it the way that I did it, I didn't have the weight gain. So that's good. Um, let me think. What else can I tell you? Uh, well, we've had tons and tons and tons and tons of rain. And I haven't been able to really enjoy my pool much this year, which is kind of a pain in the neck. Especially after, you know, I thought we were going to have some good weather and I when I got approval from the doc, I had called in to get some more pain medication. And then I also asked, could I swim in my pool? And because I wasn't supposed to get in a bath or anything until I was more healed. And, um, and could I drive? And they called me back, you know, the next day and said, yeah, he said, yes, you can swim. And yes, you can drive so you can get in your pool. And that was pretty exciting. But then I've only been able to get in it like three times since then, because of all the rain we've had over and over and over. And just when you think you're going to have a good day and it's sunny, you know, I get up in the morning and, it, you know, I look out and it's sunny and I'm excited. I'm going to get to get in my pool today. And no, you're not going to get in your pool today because by the time that you get done doing your exercises for PT and get, you know, lunch or whatever, and you go to put your suit on and you look out and it's cloudy and it's about to cut loose and rain again. So... Yeah, it's kind of a pain. That's what I'm dealing with. Anyway, I didn't want this to be terribly long. I'm going on um, nine and a half minutes, so I'm going to let you guys go. And uh, well, Come here, Sebastian. Come up here and say hi. Come here. See, I've been dealing with this on my leg. Say hi. Say hi right there to the camera. And then Jack, who you can probably hear, is laying here. I'm not going to bug him. I'm petting him, though. He's right here on the desk. All right, so I'll talk to you guys all later. Hope you're having a good day.